So welcome back. We've got a slightly undersized, but we're doing real world bolt repairs. So uh, functional rat tail file. A uh, bigger one uh, makes it easier. This isn't bad, it's just slower. But uh, we want to make sure that any burrs, deep scratches, nicks, barbs, basically any imperfections are out of here. So that uh, when the new one goes in, it doesn't hook up on anything because it's going to want to do that anyway. And not giving it any assistance in doing that is helpful. And then once we have everything feeling pretty smooth, then we're just going to give an ever so slight, we don't really want to alter the shape, just ever so slight bevel across this edge just to make sure that it doesn't have any resistance on its way in. And then we'll be ready to put it in. Now there's a couple of little tricks that you can do and uh, one of my favorites is dish soap. So Dustin's going to grab the actual cutlass bearing in just a second but we're going to keep it cold as long as we can. And um, to prep, I'm going to put a little bit of dish soap. So I just brought it out here in a cup so that we had some dish soap. And it works as a lubricant. I like Lemon Joy. Another little insider sailor's trick. Lemon Joy is one of the only dish soaps, or any soaps actually, that will lather with um, salt water. So I love to have Lemon Joy on my boats. And uh, you can actually wash your body with it and it won't dry your skin out too bad. Won't mess your hair up too bad unless you're Raquel Welch. And um, so just good stuff to have. But since you have it on board your boat most of the time, make spectacular lubricant for this thing. And uh, that's it. We're going to run and grab the cutlass bearing and get ready to press it in. All right, so this is our cutlass bearing. You can see it's quite frozen. We're going to do the first few whacks. You can come around over here. I can't hit this thing. So I'm gonna set this against here. As soon as I set it, it's gonna start changing temperature. You're gonna set that thing flat up against it and I'm gonna hit that. Okay. Ready? Yep. That's it. So a lot of times you uh, need a clamp. So I'm going to show you the clamp technique just so you have it. When you do the clamp, you take a piece of wood over here. It fall off? Well, it would be up against the scrub. The clamp goes against that piece of wood. This piece comes up. You put another piece of wood here, and then brought an apron and you too, bro. drive it in with the clamp. But we had such a perfect installation, we didn't even need the clamp. So uh, I can't show you how to do the clamp this time. I'll do it the next time. But that's one of the fastest, uh, easiest uh, installs you've you'll ever see. So may you be that lucky on yours as well. But if not, know that uh, you can use the clamp technique and. Um, in a future uh, video, it's usually not this easy, so we will do a, uh, a clamp one in the future. So that's it.